Magandang buhay! Sa video na ito ay tuturuan ko kayo ng division of multinomial by a binomial using long division. Simulan natin dito sa example number 1. So we have x squared minus 13x plus 42. I-divide natin kay x minus 7. So ang first step ay i-rewrite lang natin sa ganitong format. So yung x minus 7 lagay natin dito. And then maglagay tayo ng long division sign. And then, itong x squared minus 13x plus 42, lagay lang natin dito sa loob. So, again, itong denominator ay nandito sa labas at itong numerator ay nandito sa loob. So, after natin may ayos sa ganitong format, ang next step natin ay i-divide itong x squared divided by x. So, lagay lang natin x squared divided by x. Ito si x squared at ito naman si x. So, simulan natin sa number. Meron ditong 1 invisible divided by another 1 na invisible. So, 1 divided by 1. The answer is 1. And then, copy natin si x. Subtract natin yung exponent ni x. So, 2 minus 1. The answer is 1. Now, pag 1 na yung coefficient o yung kasama ni x, hindi na natin sinasama yan. So, tanggalin na natin. At kapag 1 na yung exponent, hindi na rin natin sinasama. So, burahin na rin natin. So, the answer, kapag sinagutan natin itong x squared divided by x, ang sagot ay x. And yung sagot na yan ay ilagay natin dito sa ibabaw ng x na yan. And then next step, imumultiply natin itong x times x. Lagay lang natin dito, x times x equals, again, ito yung x na una, ito yung x na pangalawa. So, sagutan natin, x times x, so copy lang natin si x, and then add natin yung exponent. So, meron ditong 1 plus another 1, so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, ang sagot natin ay x squared. Dito natin ilagay yan sa ilalim ng x squared na to. x squared. And then, next step, i-multiply naman natin itong x multiply by negative 7. So, lagay lang natin x times negative 7. So, again, ito si x times negative 7. Nilagay lang natin dito. And x times negative 7 is equal to negative 7x. So, yung sagot na yan ay ilagay natin dito sa ilalim ng negative 13x. So, we have negative 7x. And the next step ay subtract natin itong dalawa. So, we have x squared minus 13x minus x squared minus 7x. So, dahil ito ay subtraction, i-apply natin dito yung rule ng subtraction of integers, yung keep change change. So, palitan natin yung minus, i-change natin into plus. So, magiging plus siya. And then, itong positive x squared magiging negative x squared. So, lagyan natin negative. At itong negative 7x, palitan natin ng sign. So, from negative 7x magiging positive 7x. So, after natin palitan yung mga sign and then ginawa natin addition. So, i-apply na natin dito yung addition of integers. So, x squared plus negative x squared. So, isang positive, isang negative. So, makakancel na yan. And then, i-add natin yung negative 13x plus 7x. So, dahil magkaiba ng sign, so ang kailangan natin gawin ay isubtract. So, 13 minus 7, the answer is 6. At dahil negative yung sign ng mas malaki, negative din yung naging sign nung sagot natin. And then, bring down natin itong si x. So, the answer is negative 6x. Next step, bring down natin itong plus 42 dito sa ilalim. So, plus 42. And then next step ay burahin ko lang muna itong mga nandito para lang meron pa tayong masulatan. So next step natin, i-divide naman natin itong negative 6x divided by x. So ilagay ko lang, negative 6x divided by x. Ito si negative 6x at ito si x. So divide lang natin, simulan natin sa number, negative 6 divided by 1. The answer is negative 6. Copy natin si x. Subtract natin yung exponent ni x. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, kapag 0 yung exponent, hindi na natin ilalagay pati yung variable. So, burahin na natin itong x. So, ang sagot ay negative 6. So, yung negative 6 na yan, dito natin ilalagay sa taas. So, negative 6 or minus 6. Next step, multiply naman natin itong negative 6 multiply by x. So, lagay lang natin negative 6 times x. So again, ito si negative 6 at ito si x. Mumultiply lang natin. So negative 6 times x, the answer is negative 6x. Yung negative 6x na yan, lagay natin dito sa ilalim ng another negative 6x. So dito na siya napunta. 
And then, next step, multiply natin itong negative 6 times negative 7. So, lagay lang natin negative 6 times negative 7. So, ito si negative 6 at ito si negative 7. So, multiply lang natin ito. 6 times 7, the answer is 42. So, dahil magkaparehas naman yung sign, so, ang naging sagot natin ay positive. So, the answer is positive 42. Dito natin ilagay sa ilalim nitong plus 42. So, positive 42, lagay natin positive 42. And the next step, is subtract naman natin itong dalawa na ito. So, minus natin, lagyan natin ng equals. And again, dahil ito ay subtraction, so, i-apply natin dito yung rule for subtraction of integers, yung keep change change. So, yung minus, palitan natin ng plus. Itong negative 6, palitan natin, gawin natin positive 6. So, brain na lang natin itong negative sign para maging positive na siya. At itong plus 42, baguhin natin yung sign ng plus, magiging minus or negative. So, brain si plus, magiging minus. So, after natin mapalitan yung sign nito, proceed na tayo sa addition. So, negative 6x plus 6x, so makakancel na ito. And then, 42 minus 42, the answer is 0. So, ito na yung ating sagot sa question. The answer is x minus 6. So, kapag dinivide natin ito, divided by x minus 7, the answer is x minus 6. So, dito naman tayo sa pangalawang example. Divide natin si x squared minus 5x minus 6, divided by x minus 6. So, again, first step ay i-rewrite lang natin. So, isulat lang natin itong x minus 6, and then yung division sign. Then, x squared minus 5x minus 6, lagay natin dito sa loob. So again, yung denominator, yan yung nasa labas. At yung numerator, ito yung ating nasa loob. So again, after maiayos sa ganitong format, ang next step ay i-divide natin itong si x squared divided by x. So lagay lang natin dito, x squared divided by x. So ito si x squared, ito si x, nilagay lang natin dito. So x squared divided by x, so divide natin number 1 divided by 1, the answer is 1. Then, copy natin yung variable which is x. Subtract natin yung exponent. So, 2 minus 1, the answer is 1. Again, pag 1 yung coefficient o yung kasama ni x, hindi na sinasama yan. So, invisible na yan. So, burahin na natin. At kapag 1 na yung exponent, hindi na rin natin nilalagay. So, burahin na rin natin. So, yung sagot natin dito, x squared divided by x ay x. Yung x na yan, lagay natin dito sa taas. Okay, and then next step, i-multiply natin itong x times x. So, lagay lang natin x times x. Again, ito yun, x times x. So, x times x is equal to, copy natin yung x, add natin yung exponent. So, 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. So, yung x squared na yan, dito natin lagay sa ilalim ng x squared na to. So, lagay natin x squared. And then, next step, multiply natin itong x times negative 6. So, lagay natin x times negative 6. Again, ito si x, ito si negative 6, mumultiply lang natin. So, x times negative 6, the answer is negative 6x. So, yung negative 6x na yan, lagay natin dito sa ilalim ng negative 5x. So, negative 6x. And then, subtract natin. So, again, ito yung subtraction, i-apply natin yung rules for subtraction of integers. So, keep change, change. So, yung minus, palitan natin ng plus. And then, yung positive x squared, gawin nating negative x squared. Yung minus 6x, gawin nating plus 6x. So, plus 6x. After natin mapalitan yung sign nito, proceed tayo sa addition. So, again, x squared plus negative x squared, pwede na yung makancel. And then, addition ng magkaibang sign, negative 5x plus 6x. So, ang kailangan natin gawin ay isubtract. So, 6 minus 5, the answer is 1. So, dahil positive yung sign ng mas malaking number, so positive din yung naging sign natin dito. And then, copy natin si x. So, again, kapag 1 na yung coefficient, hindi na natin ilalagay. So, tanggalin na natin si x. So, after nating masagutan itong negative 5x plus 6x, ang next step ay i-bring down natin itong minus 6 dito. So, minus 6. So, burahin ko lang muna itong part na to para may masulatan pa tayo. So, next step, divide naman natin itong x divided by x. So, lagyan natin x divided by x equals. So, x divided by x is equal to 1. So, the answer is positive 1. Yung positive 1 na yan ay dito natin ilagay sa itaas. So, we have positive 1. Next step, multiply naman natin itong 1 times x. So, lagay lang natin dito 1 times x. And then, 1 times x is equal to x. 
Yung sagot na yan, dito natin ilagay sa ilalim. So, we have x. And then, next step, multiply naman natin itong 1 times negative 6. So, lagi lang natin, 1 times negative 6 equals. So, 1 times negative 6, the answer is negative 6. So, yung negative 6 na yan, or minus 6, dito natin ilagay. So, minus 6. Then, subtract natin itong dalawa na to. So, minus Again, apply natin dito yung rules for subtraction of integers, yung keep change change. So, yung minus, gawin natin plus. And then, yung positive x, gawin natin negative x. And then, itong minus 6, gawin natin plus 6. And then, add natin x plus negative x. So, pwede nang makancel to. And then, negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So, ito na yung ating sagot sa example number 2. Ibig sabihin, kapag sinagutan natin itong x squared minus 5x minus 6 divided by x minus 6, ang sagot natin ay x plus 1. So, yun lang. Sana ay nakatulong sa inyo itong maikling tutorial na ito. So, kung nagustuhan ninyo yung video, paki-click naman yung like button at mag-subscribe na rin kayo para sa iba pang tutorial na kagaya nito. Yun lang. Maraming salamat.